in this lecture we are going to learn about large integer multiplication so what is large integer multiplication so in cryptography you might need to multiply two very big integers okay so as big as this elephant okay so 100 digit number okay 100 digit decimal binary big a decimal number base 10 okay so how you multiply these big numbers they cannot be stored in your int long int okay so these int int numbers okay so they need some special treatment so how we do so we use the concept again when you see your problem is very big okay so you use divide and conquer okay so divide and conquer what it does you have a problem that's looking too big first tame it and make it small okay so when you make it small it becomes much easier to handle okay so what we do is that we make them small so baby elephants so now you make them easier okay so these are two baby elephants so you now solve this problem and how we do it for these numbers so we will look with one example okay so let's try to see with one example let's say we have two numbers 25 into 15 i have to multiply okay so what i can do is i can write 25 like 2 into 10 to the power of 1 plus like a decimal representation okay and 5 into 10 to the power of 0 and then 15 like 1 into 10 to the power of 1 plus 5 into 10 to the power of 0 if you multiply like this so what happens is that you will get 2 into 1 10 to the power of 2 plus now you will get 2 into 5 okay plus 5 into 1 10 to the power of 1 plus 5 into 5 10 to the power of 0 okay so 10 to the power of 2 10 to the power of 1 and 10 to the power of 0 so this is okay so this is 2 into 10 square plus 10 plus 5 15 into 10 plus 25 so this is 200 plus 150 plus 25 375 so now what we have done okay so let's try to see this in terms of two numbers first one is a a1 a0 okay this is 2 and for 25 this is a1 is 2 and a0 is 5 okay and for 15 b1 is 1 and b0 is 5 okay so how it happens i can write now this first number will be a1 10 to the power of 1 plus a0 and similarly b1 10 to the power of 1 plus b0 okay so now you can move an a1 b1 10 square plus a1 b0 plus a0 b1 10 to the power of 1 plus a0 b0 10 to the power of 0 so i can write like this so now let's try to see or count the number of multiplications here of one digit number okay a1 a0 are all one digit number so we have this is one multiplication of one digit number a1 b0 plus a0 b1 now we have got two more multiplications and this is the last one so we have got four multiplications of one digit numbers okay two one digit numbers now let's try to see i call c1 okay so let's try to see c1 is equal to a1 b1 let's do c2 this is c2 is a1 b0 plus a0 b1 and c3 is a0 b0 so let's try to look here now can i write let's take a1 plus a0 into b1 plus b0 and from this one if i subtract c1 and c2 what will i get so i will get a1 b1 plus a0 b0 plus a1 b0 plus a0 b1 
and minus C1. So this is C1, A1, B1 and this is C3, this one if I subtract. So now I get this A0, B0 plus A1, B0, A0, B1 and A1, B0, okay. So this is here. So what we do now, I can achieve this, okay. So let's try to look here itself, okay. So from this, now I call this one, okay. So let's try to see from here itself. If I have some numbers, okay. So we have two numbers. First is A, which is A1, A0. This is B, which is B1, B0. And what are A1 and A0? If it is a n digit number, okay, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and B is 1, 1, 7, 9, 3, 3. So these are six digit numbers, n is equal to six. So what I do, now I make this. So I take this part 1, 2, 3, I can write this A is equal to 1, 2, 3 into 10 to the power of 3 plus 456. I can write like this. Similarly, B I can write it as 117 into 10 to the power of 3 plus 933. Okay. And now you multiply. So what will happen? I will have 123 into 117 10 to the power of 6 simple multiplication. Then you have 123 into 933 plus 456 into 117 these to the power of 10 to the power of 3 and simply last one 456 933 so here you see that we have a has now we have n by 2 digit numbers we divide a and b into 2 n by 2 digit numbers okay which we can write like a1 is the first leftmost n by 2 part and a0 is the rightmost part so that number will become a1 10 to the power of n by 2 plus a0 and you do like this. So we have here this one. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 multiplications of size of number of digits n by 2. But what the trick is, what is done here is that, let's see. So we do is this one we achieve. Okay. And next what it says is that now we have this is c2 this is c1 and this is c0 and we define a new one this c1 is this and it can be written as a1 plus a0 okay so a1 plus a0 into b1 plus b0 minus c2 minus c0 okay so let's try to see so a1 plus a0 into b1 plus b0 what will it become it will become a1 b1 plus a0 b0 plus a0 b1 plus a1 b0 and minus c2 it is saying and minus c0 c2 is a1 b1 and c0 is your c0 is a0 b0 so this a1 b1 gets cancelled a0 b0 gets cancelled and your c1 is a0 b1 okay plus a1 b0 so this is another way of getting this coefficient but now you see this is only i am doing one multiplication in this one if you directly do you need this one multiplication this one multiplication so there are two multiplications of digit n by 2 okay but here we are only doing one multiplication so i have saved one multiplication and that's the benefit of divide and conquer okay so now i am reducing the number of multiplications so multiplication of n digit numbers requires now three multiplications of n by two and initially you were requiring four such multiplications so what is the gain now let's try to see the gain so mn becomes 3 mn by 2 okay because mn is now the work that is required for multiplying two n digit numbers okay so now what happens hence mn by 2 is the number what the work done for multiplying two numbers of number of digits n by 2 so now it from this algorithm it was clear that mn initially it was 
like how many multiplications let's try to see if we were doing normal multiplication okay so this required us one two three and four multiplications but now we require three multiplication okay so that's how your time complexity okay will become n to the power of 1.585 and if you had here 4 it would have been n square so you gain some okay it will be mn is now n to the power of 1.585 which is less than n square okay so this is the gain and this is the divide and conquer method for large integer multiplication so i hope you understand this thanks a lot